So you're going the SPL build. I don't mind it on her. Okay. Uh, so there's two. Yeah, two different yeah. routes. You can go conduit into Chronos. It's gonna give you a lot of early pressure, mm -hmm. but you have to micromanage your mana a little bit more because you're gonna be spamming so much. Yeah. Um, book build is just better scale, but you'll be a little bit weaker in the early game in terms of your mid control and fights. Right, right, right. Okay, so that was the first question I was gonna ask you. Is like, because usually this is what I run for Thoth, right? Like mm -hmm. book build. Um, I was trying to figure out if uh, what I should do first. Um, I think it's good because it scales late, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I hit hard in the beginning when I do the Kronos thing, but, like, you know... It's up to you. It's however you feel, you know what I mean? That's the beauty of, of Smite. Yeah. yeah. That's why I figure out who I need to move right away. <laughs> I feel that. So with her, I've been trying to get it, like, I've been trying to, like, get better at her. I'm, I'm trying to land this three and this two, and sometimes I hit it, sometimes I don't, you know? No worries. Nice yeah. one. Tier's pretty good, usually. You could shard here in one. Either 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 way, you want to start walking this way, so you started doing yeah. it there at the end there, so that's good. Yeah. The two is good, yeah. It's, it's the best in level two. Exactly, you want to drop it. Well, usually you want to give him the XP, but you guys cleared so well that, and his clear was so bad that I think it's fine. Right. Okay, so I want to start with the one instead of the two there. Um, yeah, I think the one is fine for okay. clear. Okay. okay. So here you have a lot of pressure. Let's get the boss hammer. So he, there you see your problem, right? You want to one the archers. If you won the archers there, you have you can literally just full fight. Okay, okay. And so here you have pressure and waves, so you can kind of be moving forward here, not backwards. Okay. okay, okay. Nice. Now you got your second one. I've been trying to learn to slow down when I had that second one to wait and aim it well. Mm -hmm. So just hit it right away. So another thing you want to do here is I don't mind a health pot because you're, you're okay. kind of low and you might want to fight here and just being higher HP is going to make the outcome better. And like when you're already down, you know, you're down uh, almost like 300 health, health pot is 250. So you're going to get your full value here either way. Yeah. Okay. Because here that this, this positioning is a little crazy with this HP, right? If you're going to play like this, which I don't mind, right? Because you're insta clearing, right. which is going to give you pressure. The only problem is, is if they go on you right now, you're probably dead. You're going to have to beat shard, health pot, and then hope to juke everything. Okay. But they use abilities in the wave, so you're fine. Definitely want to have the health pot pop now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'd die, but yeah, I'm bullshitting right here. I should have popped it. No, you're good. Definitely want to go left and you want to kind of look over because if they follow you, you guys are dead. So you want to kind of glance over a little bit. Yeah. I'm not, my Discord's working right now, Durbang. There you go. That's exactly how you use the combo. Here, I wouldn't mind a mana pop pop. Okay. Just because you're going to need the mana to clear here. No totem either. So here, what you can do. Because yes. you're about to lose some minions, right, to, to the tower. So here what you want to do is you auto this once. So oh. it stunts the whole wave. Then you three the melees, and that's gonna, and then you keep backing up, right? You, yeah. Yeah, you root the melees, and you keep backing up. What does this do? It bunches up the archers and the melees because the melees are rooted. Oh, wow. And the archers can't hit anything, right? So they're going to keep yeah. following through. And then you two one, and then it pops everything. No worries, bro. That's why I'm here. Because here you lost one minion, two. And that's the worst part, right? So I don't know if you noticed that, but so you, you hit the tower, hit the big minion. So you lost gold on that. But because you auto the big minion, it stunned, it, it stun, like made it flinch. And then another minion walked in and got hit. So now two minions are losing 80% of their gold. So I want, to, I want you to look to see when the minion dies. Four gold yeah. instead of 18, I believe. You see, 25 to 4 gold. Bro, what? Okay, wait, wait. They, they changed this without t saying anything in Smite. I I'm guarantee it. Yeah, because I, I remember you said it last time. Like, <laughs> when bro, this happened, like, yeah. Look at that. 
bro that that is more that is what what percentage is that 25 to four yeah. that's 15 percent maybe yeah, yeah yeah that's 75 eight, maybe it's yeah. more than 80 percent i don't know Jeez. that's crazy it's 75 there thank yeah, you thank yeah, you yeah, yeah. so here i don't mind you resetting or you can greed for the wave. It's up to you. But since this guy's playing up, so he's probably going to heart shove, you'd miss XP and gold. So you're going to have to do the strategy here. So here you got to be a little bit... Okay. A little bit uh, chill. Okay, yeah. I remember you told me don't trip off the Bastion. So I've been really trying to... Make exactly, it. yeah. You don't give a shit if he hits that. Yeah, yeah. So here, but you could hear you could toss the 3-1. So here you can 3 the melees and 1 the melees. Don't worry, because by the time these archers get to your tower, your 3-1 are going to be up. You feel me? So you want to okay. start pumping damage into those melees right now. Okay, okay. There you go. You did it. It was just a little late, but it's fine. Okay. okay. And now you got another one up. Beautiful. You don't lose any money. And Bastel is coming to gank, so she wastes your, her gank, and Thor gank left. So everyone's happy right now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So right. here it would be a good reset. Why? Um, let's see. Uh, I have low on mana. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see anything up. Mm -hmm. uh, my back camps, my back minions are going to meet the other minions, so this is the perfect time. To do so yeah, for so most important, you have you have book two, right? So yeah, it's a decent spike. Yeah. So and look where your wave is, right? It's here. That means their wave is here. It means this is a great time to back because Poseidon's going left. Who knows why, right? There's no camp up. Right. Probably going to these backs, maybe. Um, and you want to punish that because he's not pressuring you, right? Because if the pal if the pass is here and then you try backing, then he whirlpools you or does something dumb, then he delays you and then you're forced to stay. So if he's not punishing you, you want to punish him. Right, right, right. Okay. Because now you physically can't fight. Like you just gotta right. greed the wave and hope you don't die because you have no sustain. Right. All right, he comes back. I think you still have to respect. So where could Bastet be right now? Uh, I think I just saw her go left. But, um, let me see. Where could she exactly, be? though. Uh, so you just saw her go left, right? So that means yeah, yeah. She, where would she be? Well, there's no mid camp. You know that. And there's no green. You know that. So she could be right here. So being standing here is a little scary. Okay. 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 Yeah, I didn't see if it was a brute or melee either. I, no, the, the brute got hit. So it was a melee. No. Good shard. I don't mind it because you're just trying to back either way. So that's a good shard value. We talked about that last time that you weren't using it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a scary contest. You don't you you don't really want to fight this because you don't have the mana to. But nice combo there. Because mm -hmm. now uh, ask yourself, was that mana that you pumped into this guy worth? Not really. Mm -hmm. I, that was more of like a fuck you. you tried I, to, I, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I knew he was over there. I just wanted to. But yeah, it's still. But the answer question, no, it's not. Yeah, because now you can't clear this, and you're yeah. about to lose so <laughs> much gold. Yeah, yeah. Also, you can just, uh, another thing there, right? Like, as soon as Paz goes this way, you he's he's trying to get mid camps to punish the fact that you have no mana. So the yeah. best you can do to punish that is make sure you hit the two on everything, right? You just group, group the melees to the archers, drop your two, so it hits everything, then the one, and you're fine. I, I think they added more last hit gold recently. I, I don't know I don't know when, but they did. I guarantee it. it. The last hit gold was never that much of a difference. Hopefully I'm back here. Yeah. You're waiting for Totem, which I don't mind that play. It's not a bad play at all. But you see how this this back is a little weird, right? Because you don't have it full, so you're gonna have to back again either way. So yeah. that's why that back earlier would have made a lot, yeah, lot of sense. Right, right, right. How you doing, Big Cooch? Nice to see you, T-Dog. Nice. Nice. There you go. And now this guy's... Now, how do you punish this guy, right? Because this guy is half HP now. So the, the, the roles turned here, right? Yeah. So you want to pressure him. You don't, you don't, you're giving him too much respect here, right? Okay. How do I do? Uh, do so just ball? play up on him. Nah, just one him. Oh, one, okay. one, 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 one him right here. Yeah, there you go. And then keep walking up on him. Like this guy can't kill you and you can kill him. So. Okay. 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 
even if you're not on a book spike, don't don't overthink the book spike, right? So just think, okay, he's sixty percent, I'm hundred percent. You have advantage. Okay, for sure. Thank you, Cooch. You only lose gold, not XP. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. XP you always get. You only lose a percent of the gold. But the last hit gold, I think they changed because it's going from eighteen to twenty five. If it, so, there you just want to make sure you know hit everything with it. Yeah. Especially since you have normal cast, you can literally take your time. Just literally pump it and make sure every every minion's lit up. You see how this minion's lit up and these aren't? Well, they right there they are. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, when I moved it, it, it moved out. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. Saludo Peru, saludo Pablo, ¿cómo está? I think what I was thinking was like, all right, it doesn't matter. Let me just fucking. Are these up? I think so. Yeah, because he went he went to go get the solo laner. Good job. That's good, Reed. All right, you have to respect this guy a little bit. Nice. Nice ult trade. You either ult trade there than beach trade. Right. But now you have to respect him, right? Because now, yeah, yeah, yeah. for what, and he, why, why, did, why is this, why does he have such a high chance to kill you? I want to see if um, you get this right. Okay. Well, one, he's bashed at. Uh, two. <laughs> All right, it's items. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, um, what does he have? Jodens? He probably has Jodens. Oh, no, no, no. Is that him hitting? Is that down there? Oh, okay, that's uh, Bloodforge. Yeah. Brothers. Yeah. But yeah, you're yeah, right. Brothers, so he brothers, he yeah, yeah. he his yeah. first item completely counters you. So that's yeah. like that's like being a small man in basketball and walk, and trying to drive in on a seven footer, mm -hmm. right? Like it's not worth that play. It's a high risk play. So you got to respect that. Right. Right. I think one of the things that I was going to talk to you about is I get so concerned with just like like putting on damage. Like yeah, uh, I, I agree. As, as a mid, like, I, and I don't see, like, I'm not, like, at least in the top damage or up there. I'm like, dude, I got to put more damage on people. But you see, I, that's I, a Call of Duty vibe, though. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. That's it. I, I get so, I'm like, this is not Call of Duty. It's objectives. It's this. It's that. I just got to. Because it's, uh, when you were talking, um, when you had that coach session with Seraph and you, and you, uh, and you, or it was somebody else. I think it was the Thor. And he just got, like, 28 gold for that gank I'll, and you, you were like look you all you got was like 28 gold for that shit. i was like man okay i really gotta think about this exactly so there's there's so much yeah. more layering yeah. to then you know like, com like compared to cod right you kill someone you're happy yeah. you know yeah. you, you have a lot of kills you did your job but in this game like it, it's a it's it's all about it's investing it's numbers it's just a numbers game like how much right. time did i invest to get that kill and what did yes. it cost me to do so yeah 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 i gotta keep moving and, yeah, and you're, you're thinking like that efficient yeah yeah the, efficient players that's why i love watching your johnny's because i feel like you're mad efficient whenever you're playing yeah, but... exactly yeah characters that i can abuse farm farm patterns or you'll see me just get out ahead like set janice yeah. thor mm -hmm. yeah. so here all right so here should you fight this pause um let me see i got full resources my shit's about to be back online i see him coming um i'm ready i'm ready for a fight exactly uh, but it, it doesn't look like it though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're giving the guy respect. You're throwing, you see, right here, you're throwing a half court shot. You're not throwing that mid range. You know what I mean? But yeah, why, yeah, why yeah. would you not throw the mid range when you know you got the advantage? You know, that's that's what right. I, you know. You're KD in this spot, right? Right. You're in that mid range. You're gonna play up on him. You okay, have sure. instead you threw a, you know like a half court shot when you know that yeah. that's probably not gonna land. Should I hit the one first and then do the? Three. That's best case scenario, but here this is how I'm playing this, right? So I I I have an advantage here. What is it? It's that you have vision on him, right? Yeah, you, know, you know he's there. So what does this yeah. mean? I'm going to start walking like this, and but but never sell, right? Don't look at him. You know he's there. You have a mini map. I'm walking like this, looking at the archer. So he thinks, oh, I'm just going to get by him and clear the wave. No no no, you're going to pay the tax of walking on my ward into a wave that I already put numbers on. Yeah. Okay. And then you kill, you actually kill him. So check it. You play here, you three, you two, you one, you shard, you one again, you all, he pops. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's good. That's good, Andy. We already know. And then you know what would have happened? Let's say you don't kill him and he beats your root, right? You're, you're getting right mids. You're getting all of this. Instead, you're, yeah. you're allowing him to come back for no reason here. That's true. That's true. When you have the pressure. Cause if you if you had poked him out, I promise you, you go to right mids. But because you did kind of just like let him go, you're gonna go to the safe farm, which I agree. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, here's a quick group. Nice. Yeah, it's funny when I'm thug, I don't respect nobody. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm exactly. A I don't care who you are. Uh, whatever I'm somebody else, I'm like, okay, let me kind of. And that's okay, cause you're learning your timings. You're learning when you're strong, when how much damage you do. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Yeah. So there, you didn't have to throw that root, but that doesn't matter. Although it does here, right? Because you're about to take yeah. damage because you use your root without thinking. And here's a good shard timing. Yep, yeah. there it is. Good job. Two, one, there it is. Beautiful. And I wouldn't mind if you dropped a ward right here because you're already here, right? So might as well take advantage and drop that ward. Okay. There you now, go. Beautiful. Wanna... Okay, okay. So why would I want to drop it that high? Like, what, what, okay. what's the bit of having that vision in that high? So, okay. So why is this ward here better than this one here? So for one, no one's... If you if you walk here, right, and you look at the mid camp, why would you walk on top of this ward? You wouldn't because there's no mid camp. But if, but but you to see the mid camp, you have to be here, meaning you would walk over the ward if you dropped it there, right? Right, 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 right. Okay. You know what's funny is that I'm literally giving away why I'm better than everyone else. Like, let's say like someone that's competing versus me were, were to watch this. They, they would literally just become as good as me in minutes. And that's crazy, right? But, but, but what's crazier is that coaching is more value than competitive. That's, an, that's oh, another yeah. crazy thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, look, I'm showing y'all why I can beat y'all. <laughs> so there, did you have to beat? Uh, no, I could have used my ult. Or, no, 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 I actually, well, uh, you know what I was thinking? Watch it back. Poseidon, yeah, Poseidon was going to hit me with his little, with his bitch-ass cracking. Alright, now that you watch that back, do you feel like you should have beads? I'll let you watch it one more time. Okay, okay. Let's see. No, it was quick. Oh, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of variables here that I'm about to show you. Yeah. So for one, she's level six, meaning the max level her taunt can be is yeah. is, a quick is it three or two? I'm griefing. It's it's three. It's three. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. So three. So which is one point five. All right. Not only that, that's that's the least of the matters because microing that is a waste of energy in my opinion. So what what should what you should really be looking at is where is pos? That man is far. Okay. Right. So, be, so if he's close, the best play is to ult her taunt. If he's far, you force him to camp close, right? Because it, let's say he closes distance, right? Then you beads. You feel me? Right. Make him walk up. And then if he does that, guess what? Kakol is behind him. And guess what? You punish them pulling your beads. With my ult, that's going to go all day. Yeah, you're right. Because right now, they're getting a lot of value, right? They just pulled your beads for free. This is what we call for free. This exchange was a... 100% net worth gain for them because all they use was taunt. That's coming up in 10 seconds. Okay. If you hold your beads, how do they how do they pull it out of you? Poseidon has to come up, right? If Poseidon then beads then whirlpool krakens you, then you beads, and then you might take some damage. But guess what? You're gonna turn and burn there, and guess who's behind them? Yeah. So then you're punishing the fact that they got your beads. You see what I mean? You're luring them in and saying, "Hey, you want my beads? Come get it." I get so concerned, man, when people are jumping on me like that. I don't. I, uh, one of the things I, I, I value in you is like you're you're yeah, you're quick on your feet with your processing. I'm not quite there yet. No worries. It's because I, obviously I have so much more experience, and yeah. I know like I know the numbers. I know the position. Look, you want to know how what my brain's thinking here? Look, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, please, please. Alright, I'm clearing wave. Where's Bastet? She's in right. Where's Athena? I don't know. Where's Paz? I don't know. So, I see Athena, I see Paz. Okay. Can they kill me? No. Is someone rotating to help me? If, I, if, if they taunt me into Kraken, I can die, but I, they have to be in position. So I'm just going to clear this wave and see if they go on me. Cthulhu's on the, on the counter rotation. Athena's obviously going for the taunt because of the good ward that you put. Poseidon obviously sells that he wants to commit to me because he thinks I don't know that Athena's here. So right. if you literally think about it, you have the advantage here yeah. because you have the information. Yeah. And so how do you do this? So guess what? He's in a dash taunt. 
if you literally walk up to him and full cast pre-beats all blast him athena has no counterplay because she can only taunt you and so you can use the fact that you have the information against them because you know that they want what they want and they don't know that you know Yeah, don't worry, it's a lot, but it, it, it you, you're going to get it. Because right here, I'm playing up, because he thinks I don't know. So I'm going to play up in his face and kill him with my beads. Because he's going to go out of position to try to, com to confirm on me. So 3-2 is interesting. I think 2 is better if your team is around you a lot. I think 3 is better in terms of DPS. Okay, okay. Usually I go two, uh, one, two, three in that order. But right here, you should be leveling your two. Okay, yeah. I, I think I'm definitely do that. I, I just never get. Yeah. yeah, you just sometimes it gets boom. Yeah. Press that jump. Good try on the heel. But there, you should be throwing your three first. Okay. Because if you three this, if you three oh. two one one. That hurts. If you two, three, that, I mean, they're going to walk out of the knockup. Now your root is harder to hit. First hit the root, then everything else lines up. Three, two, okay. one, one is the combo. Okay. Okay, for sure. If I could just get this girl, then she's, she's chaotic. Yeah, she's she does a lot. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind this back because Athena's holding wave. Yeah. My boy Isaiah with a 33 months. What's up, gorgeous? Thank you. On this Athena taunt, if you ult, if you ult and line it up behind them, you're you're this guy might die, but this guy is probably dead. And you did the uh, combo backwards there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, what what button can you press that would benefit you? Uh, right now the shark. Exactly. Why? Um, because everything is down, um, and especially if I was going to kill them, uh, I, I would, I would have like, what, she's a, would have at least nine abilities, eight or nine abilities, right? There. So the true reason is yes, your CDs are down and you would get complete efficiency out of your shard. But the true reason is, is that you, what are you going to use these CDs to, to do? It's to get pressure. But why do you want pressure? Because left mids are up. So that, that chain of thought needs to be going through your head all the time because you need to think about efficiency. Like, all right, the Athena's pressure, how do you punish this? By farming. How many mid camps? You haven't even seen the left side of... You haven't even seen these mid camps. Right. You haven't even looked well, at them. How do you know left mids are up? How do you know they're up already? Because there's three people fighting you mid. So who, who could possibly clear that? Oh, okay, okay. So here you should be trying to blow this up, like clear this, and then go straight there. And even if it isn't up, well, it's time to reset. Because you're giving this guy infinite respect. If you notice, if you were to look at, like, you, you watch basketball, right? Yeah. And you you ever seen, like, when they show, oh, where have they taken their shots from? Mm -hmm. If you yeah. look, if, if, where, where you've casted your abilities this whole game has been yeah, from right here. Power, yeah, back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just too much respect. Okay. Because this guy's out, out, I mean, not really truly out farming you, but ki he kind of is, right? He's been at every yeah. mid camp. You guys are down. It, but it's not really your fault that you're down, but it's because you're, but you're also not out farming him. Right, right. I could do more. Mm -hmm, exactly. Because I remember I was, because I think I ended up doing okay this game. I was going to ask you like, man, what do I do when I feel like I'm doing, I'm just doing okay. You just don't feel, ask yourself in this game. You, you, you feel like you've been a little AFK, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, I remember my tower. Yeah, so you just gotta be proactive, you know. You wanna use your ult. You wanna, you wanna. Uh, it's fine because you're stacking, right? It's, that's the problem, right? This is the problem with stacking. It gets you in this mentality where you can just stack and you're okay, but that's really not the truth. 
that's why I like forcing some some of the guys on Chronos because it, it forces you to play fast and playing and then you understand your limits and then you can go to book and yeah it slows down a bit but there, you still know your limits on the kit right right so would you recommend that I do something like that go to the gym go Chronos and then book well or? also in these rank games right look how many kills there is there's 12 kills in 10 minutes because the reason you're, you're copying an SPL build which is fine the only yeah. difference though in SPL there's three kills at this point in the game if you're lucky maybe two Right. And and so these games are a little bit more, you know, like all over the place in terms of fighting, you know, grouping. Uh, those things are not calculated like they are in the SPL. So what does this mean? That means you need to take the information and be like, OK, the games are my games are much faster on, on par. Even in my rank games in Masters, Grandmasters, you rarely get a game that's pretty slow where you see me oh oh one at like 10 minutes. It's rare. So that's why I build Joins. Yes, I understand Transcendence is a better late game build, and I do build Transcendence when I feel that is the flow of the game. But I know most of the time the flow of the game is not that. So I'm going to take advantage of understanding the fact that I know these games aren't going to be slow. So I'm going to build fast to punish people. Yeah. Okay. And real quick, aside on that, are you still going with Bastet? Like, would you still go Jotun's Trans, or would you just go... Uh... Well, I was going Trans Soul Eater on her, and I said, "Why well, I still yeah. would go that build because I feel like it's really good." Okay, 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 okay. What's up, DJ? Yeah, this is this game is called Smite. Did you guys see that? Yo, guys, can you guys help me out on Twitter uh, and like my tweet about because Gor Gorge is the biggest Dota two content creator uh, in Dota uh, from Dota two, and he's gonna play Smite on Sunday. And if I can get some like extra, he and I watch the stream all the time. I talk to him. So he knows who I am, but I'm trying to get him to play with me because I know people are going to snipe him and I want to cook the snipers. Yeah. So exclamation mark uh, social. If you guys want to check out my Twitter and like the tweet or just drop some love under it. So all right. All right. So now we're going to talk about 1v1s. I don't, I, don't like, I don't like giving them respect, Eddie. That's, that's how you know I want to slap everybody. It's just I'm just I mean, just trying to think like, okay, well. I don't want to just go in, but yeah, yeah. Tell me about the one v ones, cause that's right. where I'm. Yeah. Right. So he used. He, how many spells does he have left right now? He uses. Uh, well, three, three. If he has his all up. Oh, now. Uh, that is that the wave? Yeah, two. So right here, when I see he has two spells left, yeah. I'm going to shard and run my fucking staff in his heart. Is what I'm gonna do. Because he literally has two buttons left. Like, this guy's disrespecting you. If you miss two buttons and you're still sitting at my tower line, that's like, that's like missing a dunk and then he comes and tries to dunk again. Okay, okay. I am not allowing that. Okay. And you shouldn't either. So, you missed one. That's fine. You shard and you run at this kid. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Because right now, he's, he's been at your throat the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> next game, next game, my man. Now I'm just gonna be at their tower line, cross side as hell. Yeah, I don't care who. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm who you are. Slap, bat, smack. I don't care who. I want all the onomatopoeia, bro. <laughs> who Not mighty, but it's all good. Thank you, big dog. You want to make sure you get those stacks. You have a decision to make. Should you go to these backs or should you back? Um, I should back. I got the 950 for the. I I should back. Get the get the uh, get the the deso, and then by the time I come back, those camps should be up, right? Deso and. Oh, deso and yeah, the first bit of the uh coin. And your ages. That's the big one. Twelve. You hit twelve. Oh, yeah, first yeah. thing you want to do is grab that ages. Now, and yeah. this game, it's a huge Aegis game. You As soon as you get Aegis, you're stronger in this pass on in every aspect of the game. Okay. okay. So you're back. Okay. That's that's good. It. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> you got Deso. 12 is a huge spike. Every time you hit 12, you want to think, do I, I need a back. Blink beads, beads, Aegis. Relics are one of the best things in the game. Cthulhu's grouping camps, what a nice guy. Yeah. 
here would be a good three option because you're gonna yeah. stack up because you, you could you know what I mean one you're gonna clear two it's gonna get you're gonna get moving speed he's gonna get moving speed like here you can three just three okay. just anywhere and you just get, get your moving speed yeah, yeah yeah get your passive and either way you have book of thoughts so man is the last of your problems right. once you see this I agree with you once you see this thing has been up for a year and a half I go clear that my mid lane, my jungler is eating poop I'm gonna make sure to get the done even if uh, this wave is coming, should I prioritize this wave? Or? You can clear the wave and then go or whatever okay. you want, honestly, at this point. Okay, yeah, okay. What up, be Nice to see you. I just did this because I didn't see anything uh, around. I'm usually the last one to lose, like, like to knock my tower down. Um, and I don't know if that's a good thing. Nah, that's thing. because you're not pressuring. You're just, you're just yeah. obliging. So here, this is a good rotation. I like this rotation. So most important. Right, so this guy's tanking a tower for this guy, right? Meaning. Oh, I didn't even. I wonder. I was like, "What is he doing? He's stupid." Yeah. So he's. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. So he's being a good support. So how do you yeah, punish yeah, this? Good. Just cast on. Oh my God! Wait, let me see if I can find this again. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, so here he's just so you punish him. Nice, you did the combo. You did the combo right there. Beautiful. All right, beautiful. Only thing is that all was a bit early, right? Okay. Do you agree or no? Oh, I'm griefing with these fucking things, bro. It's yeah, 15 okay. minutes. It was. Uh, it is early. Uh, oh yeah, it's right I here. Have, it's right here. Yeah, I have abilities up. Um, I I could do uh, I can do other shit. All right, so why is this all bad? Um, well, it's early and it's, I need to, I should take advantage of somebody being in front of Exactly. Me. Which, you know, people are going to go on this guy, right? You know, these yeah, two are going to yeah. stick on him. And also you're giving, you're, you're giving them positioning. You don't think like you, you sold your positioning here, right? So you killed the Athena with a beautiful combo, right? Boom, boom, right. boom. Beautiful. So why are you running into this guy? You know where he's going. He's going this way. This is a 3v1. So you're not going to the side. You're, pl you're playing your CDs and running this way because you know his goal is not to fight. His goal is to run. So right. you're going to play that because you know you, know, you have position. You, you see how you walk into him? There's no need to do that. Keep running this way. Let him use his dash on whatever because he has to dash immediately because the tower is cooking him. And then once the Thor or the tier gets on him, then you cast your ult. But you probably don't even have to use it here. You, you're probably just casting your 3-1 because you're standing right here if you're playing it right. And then what? He's going to be right here next to you. You just sit on top of him casting all your spells. I remember you taught me that with jungle. It's been so valuable. Like I've been, I've been just beautiful. Holy shit! I still got. Yeah, uh, let's see how good this <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, um, I uh, it's it was so valuable. Like when you taught me how to like cut off, at, like you know where he's going. Don't don't go where he's at. Go where he's going. Exactly. And, yeah, and I've been like, okay, I've been remembering. It's been helping. Just that those little intangibles, I would say. That are that have, that hold so much value. What's up, King? Just, just do this. All right, yeah. this guy, this guy gave up. This guy's running somewhere else, right? He's coming to this yeah. gank. Yeah. So don't cut, don't clear the same way. Literally, best way to clear here: group all the minions into the archers. You drop your two, your three. Why not your one? Your two is gonna heal you for whatever the archers hit you for, and your three is gonna get moving speed to him and you, and it's gonna clear. And then you're running straight to where he wants to go. <laughs> Instead, you're clearing like if, if yeah. you know he's pressuring you. So crazy, you be thinking this fast, like, <laughs> like, yeah, it makes, yeah, that's so crazy. Um, because think about it, where would you be? You'd be right here. Yeah, yeah, no, it makes complete sense. I, I just don't process that fast. Like, nah, I, no worries. It's just that. Yeah, yeah. So that's a lot of micro. So that. So yeah. how? What's micro? It's pretty much how what you know about your character in terms of experience. It spikes. Clear speed, clear rotation, cycling your kit. I mean, it can go. The list goes on forever. So I know these things because I play a lot of Ixchel. So that's obviously right. why I like for you to give me characters that I can give you a lot of this tech. It's called tech. Yeah. Yes. And then, yeah. and then you know, decision making that just comes with time. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Okay. So here, this is a good cuckoo ult. Nice three, good try. But you're playing so passive here. Your full health, double actives. These guys are both half HP. Like this guy is getting casted on. You're chilling. You're in no trouble here. If anything, you should be running them down. Okay. Now, Athena's here. That's fine. You have beads. You're not scared of nobody here. Okay. Next time I turn this joint on, 
You're, we're running kids down next time you turn this shit on. <laughs> it's gonna look like something else. <laughs> Man, I want you to look like a there. zombie running at yeah. these kids. <laughs> what up, Snuffles? Alrighty. You know what I wouldn't mind? Just to your feet. I, look, think about this, right? You're gonna transition your mana into health. Is that a good conversion here? Uh, yeah. 100% it is. Because one, you got Book of Thoth and you got 60 MP5, bro. If you run out of mana, I think you'd have to break your keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No one knowing your character, no one when the items do. Exactly. So here it would have been a beautiful time to do, use the tech. Because yeah. you're going to one first, but what does that mean? Okay. Oh, you lose one minion. It's fine, yeah, though. Yeah. Maybe two? No, no, you got it. Evermed is not is not on that team anymore. Uh, thank you, Urso. All right, I'll give you another little tip. Okay. So here, right? You, you're already late, which is normal, right? You're doing red. It's right. fine. So this melee minion is killed or it, is it already lost his gold, correct? Yeah. Because it got hit by the tower. Yeah. Meaning w there's no point of hitting it. If anything, you want it to stay alive longer, right? Right. Right. So what do I, what is my, what do I mean by this? So now instead of just wanting the melee, like, you know, yeah. kill the archers with your one and your three. And then look to try to kill these sides quickly without killing this guy. Because since you won this guy, he's immediately gonna, gonna die. Meaning the tower is gonna be able to hit another minion. Which you're gonna lose gold here, watch. Right. You lost all three. Four gold, four gold, four gold. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Okay. But no worries, you see. But that's a little extra tech. Even, even pro players don't even know about this. You'll watch pro players mess that up. Yeah. So I go to you, my boy. Right, normal. So we're gonna look at this fight. I agree. It's not a good fight. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. I've learned how to do that. I learned how to do that. I Hell yeah. Mean, yeah. <laughs> nice three. Okay. No. And what could you do? Even though it's it, it, it's it's pitiful in terms of efficiency, but what can you do here? Um, do I want to group the camps? You're missing 100 HP. Just drop a two on your feet, man. Might as well be 1876 uh, uh, and be 1755. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Like, Usually what I'll do is I'll do that and I'll run to it so I can catch it. But yeah, it's, nah, we ain't surrendering. Come on. Yeah, I was like, nah, tighten up, bro. We got this. But we don't. I think we ain't up here. You always want to be tapped out. I learned that obviously in a lot of MOBAs yeah. and shooters, you know, you always want to be full health. He's been wanting to do that all game. Like, he's been wanting to... So what was wrong about this? <laughs> what was wrong about this for you? Um, I could have uh, maybe just used my Aegis and been cool. And, or? Um, just use your ult. Yeah. Did I... Oh, I, you I beats. did, but what a... You panic oh, beats there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't even see it. I did both. I, I hate getting hit by cracking. It's like one of the worst. It's one of the worst things. I, I get it, it. It'll it'll blow. Also, me. also, it's better than beadsing. Why? Because what did they what did they buff right. about Ixchel? Exactly. Percent mitigation. All right. So yeah. See, I remember. I remember what my coach be saying. Like, just understand your character. Exactly. So yeah, you yeah, you don't yeah. get hit by that, and you turn your brain on that kid. As soon as that finishes, you three one two. He has no cracking. You cook him up. Okay. What item are you buying next? Um, the coin. How much do you need for coin? A uh, thousand. I'm waiting. I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. It's only a, it's right there. It's a thousand. I got. It. And that's a stacker. So you want to get that on, on the spike. What's up, uh, Snuffles? Yeah. Just let me know when you finish on the ads. But you see how much your three just did. This guy's walking behind. You're giving him too much respect. This guy missed wall, but it's fine. That's a Thor special. Miss every every ability, yeah. but then you spin <laughs> on him, so you feel better about yourself. He missed, so you confirm on that. Boom. You're casting on the wrong person, but it's okay. It's not really the best fight. What up, Silver? How you doing? Nice three. Look for that one. You're always casting. If your CDs are up, it doesn't feel good. There you go. I'll get back in there. 
Now you're looking for that three one. So so kind of the way you look at it, right? That was a beautiful one because you got your extra one now, right? Mm -hmm. So now you look at this spell to set up this spell. Okay, yes, yes. So here, instead of you threw your one randomly, you could have set it up on Bastet. You three one and she might die. Or Medusa, it's going to be half her HP. If you do it on Athena, she won't die at all. So three one two, not three two one. Three, three. You could do three, two, one, one. If you don't have your one set up, if you have your one already in the second, in the second uh, aspect yes. of it, then you could do yeah. three, one, two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So another thing, right? You have this is a higher level. Now we're gonna go to a higher level of of coaching. For sure. So there's three people in front of you, right? It, it's not easy to always pick the right target, right? Right. The right target here goes from Bastet to Dusa to Athena. Now, you might ask yourself, why do so over Athena when she's so low? So, let's look at... Now, this goes to your items. Now, let's look at your items. Do you have any percent pen? No. So, all you have is flat pen and power. So, that... So, if you were to cast your 3-1 on this guy, it does this much, right? And he's still alive. If you cast your 3-1 on this guy, it does this much. Yeah. And if you cast your 3-1 on this guy, it kills him. So a lot of people in your rank are going to see red and look at this guy because he looks like he has the least health in terms of percent. But it's actually higher health, higher effective health than both of these guys. Right. Only because of your items. Right. Let's say you, let's say you have coin because you backed on time. Now this makes more sense. Now it goes from Bastet, Athena to Dusa. ¿Cómo está la cosa, Joan? Good three for movement speed. Good heal. Good fearless. You gotta punish that. You had ult. Yeah. But it's okay. I think it's a little risky. Yeah, yeah. I was worried I wasn't gonna kill it. What up, Fisher? I think here I was gonna go uh, obsidian. I went obsidian shard. That's cool too. Forty percent pen. I don't think it's the greatest on her, but it's okay. I think it's fine okay. item. What other alternatives do you make? You, there's Tahuti, right? And Tahuti is nice because it gives you glyph option later in your build, so you scale really hard. Mm -hmm. And then you'd be at 30%, which is fine because then you can go Murden, you can go Reaver, you can go a lot of things in that last slot. just depends what you're okay. playing against. So here you're playing against double tank, so I like Reaver a lot. Okay, okay. What's up, Isigis? Reaver. How you doing? Reaver scaling. Reaver scales in terms of HP. So when there's two tanks, it gets a lot of value, especially if these tanks are in your face, which they're going to be, right? Because mm -hmm. Athena needs to be in your face a ton. Kikola needs to be in your face to do damage. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right, yeah. I've been trying to do better at that, too. Like, uh, I'll, I'll say, okay, what's the best build? you like, well, it depends. Exactly. Yeah, it always yeah, depends. Yeah, nice combo yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Nice old exchange, but you're playing scared there. Nice. Nice. It. Yeah, I got it. Though. That was beautiful, though. <laughs> yeah. But you saw how you were a little scared there for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going back, yeah. Nice two. And you don't have to back at all. Pop that health pot. You got another two in seven seconds. Keep farming. You want to... When you get a kill, it's not the kill that gives you the gold. It's the farm. So it's what you get after the kill. It's the reward, yeah. Exactly. It's the reward. And that was beautiful. You went on the archers, right? You didn't hit the melees. That's something you learned. What's up, Stress? How much you need for Opshard? Uh, no worry. Here. Now you now you know what you need to learn. Yeah, yeah. I think like a, a I think right now I have enough. I think I, right now I, I have enough. I think it's eighteen hundred. Don't worry, I'm on the same boat as you. Yeah. It's the first time you tab this game, <laughs> so it's important you do that because you don't know what yeah, their build no, is. Let's no, say no. Colin has like four damage items, then your build changes completely. Yeah, no, yeah. I I've been trying to work. When I'm a jungler, I really pay attention. When I'm when I do other shit, I don't be paying attention. So. All right, so here, right? You see two mid. You're kind of grouped. It's kind of FG grouping time, right? Mm -hmm. What are mages best at doing? Let's see. Um, what What do you think mages are the best at? Um, AOE damage from far away, protecting. Uh, you, you said it. You said it already. AOE damage from far away, meaning poke, right? You're the best yeah. poke god in the, the best class of poking, right? Yeah. So... With that in mind, did you press your buttons right? You didn't even hit this guy. Yeah, this, no. this guy just looked at you and said, oh, I, I, shit, I, I, okay. I, 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 I was scared because I knew 
one thing for sure, I was like, if I hit him, I know like two other people are gonna jump right on. I remember I had that conscious thought, but like you, like I could have at least hit him with a one or something. Nah, I'm full kidding this cat. Oh, All right, for real? bro. Okay, All right, let's look at let's okay. let's look at everything first, right? Let's break this down. Okay. Where's your team? Yeah, they're all on right. All right. Where is their team? Two and mid. That's all you know up to now. That's all you yeah, know up to now. Oh, yeah. I don't even know where Bastet is. So, yeah. two mid, and you got five right, right? That's just yeah. a numbers game, right? right? So, I know I'm confident here. All right. Now, let's break down even more, right? You got beads, ages, all and all. All resources, meaning any poke you do, one, you're safe in every aspect. Poseidon Krakens you, you have Aegis. Bastet ults you, you have Beads. Athena taunts you, you have Beads. Kakola and Blink ults you, do so ults you, you have Beads, Aegis. I mean, you have everything. They, they can't kill you if you press your buttons right right now. Right. So this guy shows, I'm literally 1, 2, 1, 3, ult. <laughs> literally blast this kid. You can't be here. Alright, alright. Well. <laughs> like, you made a mistake. Okay. Yeah, he, it, he may have realized. He's like, oh, shit. I, <laughs> and then he poked you. Yeah, and he's level nine. He's like, Eddie, I'm level 16. I can't fight this. He's and so now and now you're out of position. Yeah. God. Because your decision making was a little slow, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you didn't process this this when you're here, right? You weren't even thinking about it. You were just thinking about, oh, I'm going right jungle, right? If you're thinking about this already, then you know anyone that shows is you're at a numbers advantage. Bastet that shows, you know, okay, I'm in a good spot, right? So you cast on this guy, one, two, he has to jump away. Or he's half health. Let's say you cast one, one, two, half health. Guess what? This pyro is yours now. Because you were alert, you were reading the map, you were, all these things made a more accurate decision on, on whatever happens in front of you. Now, now this is what, you, what you're about to do after. It's called an overextension. So you had your opening, yeah. it closed, and then you stayed around. Yeah. <laughs> you frontlining as a mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now this is yeah, bad. They're like, oh, fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> but you had really good actives, right? So th this is one of the few times that you literally press Beast Ages at the same time because you're eating two ults. Right. So now I'm going to ask you, after this Beast Ages, should you fight this or should you not? Cthulhu's right there. I, I, what I think I should do now... I turn, maybe hit a three, alt, and, and I'm I'm prying whoever's in that direction. That's that's where I was that's that's how I'm thinking now. After I'm like, yo, I'm 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 gonna just start. Okay, like, that that's fair to think like, like that. So what I would say like is four or five there. So. But your guys are your guys are kinda grouped too, so this is what I'm gonna yeah. say you should do. So for for one, you should be you should toss your whole so you beast ages everything, right? Kraken, Ank, Blink, Coca Cola, no. You're very happy here. So how do you punish using all your relics, right? You got to make a fight out of it, right? Because if they, you, if they just walk away right now and go pyro, you cannot fight. Right. right so right. How, so the fact that they use their CDs on you when you use your relics, now it's time to turn and burn because now they don't have ults. So you're going to 3, 1, 2, 1, then press 4. So let's see what you do. You're still running. That's fine. I don't mind it, though. I think it's fine because your whole team didn't come, right? Yeah. They're all kind of disengaging. So it ends up being kind of bad for you, but it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I do coach when, live, but I don't think it's good. When do you think... Because I've seen you one time uh, put... Uh, what's it called on my girl? Uh, the breastplate. The healing breastplate. When Regrowth? Yeah, yeah. When do you think is a good time to do something like nah, that? Nah, I, I think regrowth is dead. I think there's availability for breastplate, but I think it's around when there's when there's four four physical or there are two magicals are in solo okay. and support. Okay, okay, okay. For sure. I think coaching live is you're 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 not gonna learn. You're not gonna absorb. If you're gonna spend your money, I want you to to learn something. Yeah, yeah. Whoever that is, but nah, it, cord your shit. Facts. There's so much more to learn. Yeah, yeah. I think the Levi's. Yeah, you, I don't mind you chilling. You gotta play sit, chill now, right? Because you got no relics. So yeah. playing behind the Cthulhu is exactly your Cthulhu is your moving ward. There, uh, you should have got your red though. Regardless, like that XP you needed for your twenty, but it's fine. What? 
when there when there's like three people there, sometimes I just be like, okay, well, I'll let the two have it. Should I? Nah, hell no, nah, you're mid. Okay, okay. Take that's yours. That's a weird ward. Yeah, yeah, I think that was accident. Okay, no worries. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll be fat. What up, Salone? How you doing, brother? Are you level twenty? What are you playing for? Yeah, that that's pointless right there. I feel. But um. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Like, like, like right now, what am I? What is your next goal in this game? To get my, yeah, my time capsule thing, right? Exactly, your starter. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's it called? Sans, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. Pendulum or some shit. Yeah, yeah. So here you have to find farm, right? But that's safe. So you made the correct choice, right? Because you could have went... The only other farm on the map is here, here, and here. Risky, risky... All right, well, too far from fire. Risky, risky. Safe farm. Correct. Okay. Okay. Time capsule? Like <laughs> but they should re They should rebrand the fucking item. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. This positioning is scary. Do you agree? Why? Let me see. Okay. Why is it scary? I don't know. I'm not scared here. I no. see Cthulhu. Okay. See you are scared. Because you're okay. seeing Athena here. <laughs> okay. You don't know if she has her dash ready. Okay. You have no beats. You have no ages. And there's one oh, huge nice. factor here. Okay. Look around. Look around the, the whole screen and tell me why. one reason you, you would never win this oh, fight. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, Thor is in no man's land and... Apollo, hopefully he's flaunt. No, he's walking. You got it right. We, yeah. There's no Thor here, so yeah. you have no actives, no Thor. Like here, you can't stand here because this could happen. I mean, you should have got taunted and cracking and popped there. So yeah. you're God, you're blessed by God that somehow that yeah. taunt was broken. <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed by being in this gold lobby. When I was gold five, but I was in platinum three because I just keep losing. Um, okay, for sure. <laughs> you also went divine instead of ob. Yeah, Who, yeah, who's yeah. healing on their team? Uh, absolutely fucking no. Oh, oh no, no, Bastet. Bastet. I think that's why I got it. Okay, so Bastet is healing very little from her passive. Was that enough for you to build Divine and lose 40% pen and be at 20%? Okay. That's what you got to ask yourself. And not only that, right? You haven't tapped off in this game. So that's why it's hard for you to understand. Do I build Divine or do I buy Ob? Because you don't really know. If they're, you know they can, This guy could have Soul Eater. This guy could have Gloves. This guy could have Typhons. This guy could have M Mail Renewal. Okay, now you need Divine. But you don't know that because you don't know your items. So right. so that's why it's really important to be, uh, to be tapping. So you have to make a decision here. Defend Fire or get this mid-wave, right? Because if you go to Fire, you're going to lose this mid-wave. What is correct? I want to go help. I got my all. I got my resources about to be back up. Um, I, I may be able to help them steal, but fucking again, Thor is in no man's land. Uh, Apollo's over there on Gold Fury, so it'd be a three v five. So it's probably not the right decision. Oh, and it's oh, and it's and it's bitch ass fire giant. That's the other thing. Exactly. Now you're starting to think. Yeah. One, it's not EFG, so it's not the, gonna be the end of the world. Two. Yeah. It's it's your it's two tanks versus five people, meaning there's no damage there. Three, like yeah, you, you pretty much said it all. Like you, this this is this is a very high risk fight here, right? When there's conf when there's there's no risk farm right here and no risk gold fury right here. Right, that's true. Because if you die here, they get FG, they get towers, they get maybe even bird. Mm -hmm. So you come here, that's just fine. So this guy stops you. This is the right play from him, right? Go zone. The only guy with damage. Yeah, yeah. So you try to punish. So th so now you get vision of fire. By the way, if you have op shard here, this guy pops. Yeah. And that's something that you should think of when you're playing, right? So when you're thinking, when you record your games, whenever you do, and then watch it back, be like, Why? I hit this guy. I built this. Imagine I built this. Wow, the difference would have been... Okay, so and then you can start to really just kind of coach yourself in a way. Okay, cool. cool. It's gone, right? Yeah. They got it. Right. So let's see. This fight is kind of risky. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to try to pick some kills off, take fire off, but I'm never, ever going to expose myself to die here. Right, right. Let's see what I do. I think I get him. Holding and then you're out. Yeah, 
Because if you were thinking beforehand, I'm getting this and getting out, then you have the right mentality. But I think I don't think you were thinking because like, about that because I can tell that you want to look for more. It seems. Nah, man. I'm gonna tell you. Anytime I see that styling on him killed, I look up there every time. I think that's another thing I need to just stop. I need to just like stop looking at up there. <laughs> like anytime I get a kill, I look up and I look back down. I think that's just it's just it's just waste. Even if uh, that little bit of time, I could be kill and go. Like it, it, you know, I, I just gotta use better. I gotta be more efficient. No worries, and that comes with time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So here, there's an Athena chasing you and a Poseidon. What is the next spell coming out? Um. She she's a little bit far away from me, so she may dash, then do the taunt. And do you have a counterplay for that? Yeah, I got my beats. So what? Is, so could you fight this? She has fire giant. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I, no, no, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. That's fair. <laughs> so conserving yeah, your beads yeah. is good here. So yes, you're right. You shouldn't fight that. But if, but if something happens, you're ready. And that's what's important because yeah, you don't want to fight it, but she might force it. Right. So being ready for the force is very important. And so, and if you notice, your team is splitting a lot, right? These guys are just yeah. not showing up. Yeah. That's okay. Carry all of a sudden, yeah. How you win this game for yourself? Yes, yes. There, yeah. How? Like, cause I get in this situation so much, and I'm just like, okay, well. Exactly. So that's why I'm here. So I'll, I'll get a good spread, but we'll lose. So <laughs> this guy. So when this guy shows left and says, "Fuck you guys, I'm not coming to fire," and Apollo also says, "Fuck you guys, I'm not coming to fire," you take that as okay. I'm not going to suicide for fire. They can have it. I'm going to take all this farm and make sure I can carry when they come siege at bird. Okay. Because okay. you're kind of soft rotating. What does this mean? Every time you're soft rotating, you're not farming. Meaning yeah. these guys are getting ahead, yes, but you're not. And you're the mage that's going to defend phoenixes, not them. Right, 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 right. So okay. if you want to put the game in your hands, you have to go split two and go farm. Because if they're not going to commit, then you can't commit. You physically can't. So it is what it is. I was, I was, that was one thing I wrote down on my notes. Like, how do I LeBron them? Exactly. <laughs> if, if I, if These guys if are the Cavs. Yeah, you got you got to do yeah, some yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, if I got to LeBron them, like, how do, how do I do that in this situation? And if you think about it, you're thinking a lot right now about defend, 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 and not farm, 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 yeah. which is very important because you don't have starter. You're 800 goals short of the biggest, one of the biggest spikes that you're ever, you're going to have in the whole game. Okay. So your brain should be thinking, where can I farm? Where can I farm? Not, oh, let me defend tier two. Let me defend this. Your team isn't showing up. So you, you go farm. Okay. You're not going to win a 1v5 until you have six slots. So red buff is important here, mid wave, cross to back camps, cross to speed, cross to their farm, right? Okay, where do, where do they want to go now? The opposing team, where do they want to go? Exactly, so what farm is available? Everything on the right. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. Coach Andy, baby. You already know, we're here to win. <laughs> Y'all better get y'all coach session, man. Y'all feel hype after. you like, okay, I'm going to correct this. I'm going to correct that. Exactly. And here, too, is a horrible back. Yeah. Because speed and backs oh. are up, and you're about to upgrade agents oh, and getting starter. I'm definitely reporting you. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're going to push left. <laughs> you're showing up to the defense. Good too. He's going for the ult. What did we talk about about your build? Yeah. You're missing twenty percent pen, you're missing reaver, you're missing starter. With with these things being in the back of your head, now that you know this, would you ult this Kakulin again? Yes. Now when I have the well oh now if I had that if I had the reaver and all that. Exactly. If you had Reaver, you had Ob Shard, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind this ult. But without yeah. Reaver, Starter, Obshard, this all is really low value. I mean, you're healing your boys, but this dude's level 16. This guy might as well be a minion. Right. Well, nice damage on the all at the end there, though. That was good. Nice. Good try on the root. Good heal. Keep casting. Keep casting. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice wand. Look I for that three. Right. There. So Beautiful. Yeah, I don't understand it. This, I don't know if I'm... 
too far away and shit. That's the one. That's Imagine you had ult now. Oh yeah, game over. Imagine you had Opshard. Imagine you had Starter. Imagine you had Reaver. You cook them all here if you had your item spikes, but you delayed your spikes so hard. Cause you're the only one on this team hitting anything. Nice one. Good try. That's ages. Good three reposition. I don't like those beads though. Okay. You you so now I'm starting to notice you press beads to ages anytime you're in fear. Oh yeah. Which is okay to learn, but then you want to start separating that, right? Because people know that I'm going to taunt you. You're going to beat Zages. I mean, your game's over after that. Right. So here, you're in a little a little pretty far up position, but you're trying to get some damage off, and you don't have any far, uh, any any uh, long-range spells. So here, it's fine. This guy... So after you won here, what do you want to do? Reposition. You want to come back because this fight isn't already won. This fight is half won. And you have relics, yes, but you you're, have no spells soon. So here... This dude goes on you. You, If you just ages here because you fear damage, it means you still have beads and you can still fight. And if you're, and if you're gonna beads here, you gotta return damage. Why? Because you're not gonna have beads after this so you're not gonna be able to fight. And it resets your CDs. You wanna get your return on your investment. You spend 900 gold to get your upgraded beads to reset your CDs. Better use them. So here you're gonna look. You throw the three, two, this fight's kinda over. She dies. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, hey, this is the this is the this what be happening in the gold lobbies. <laughs> so here, whatever she suicides, but here you're you're going for the you're going too close range, right? You hit a nice one, but this, yeah. then you realize this guy's one HP, meaning he's probably gonna die pretty soon. So now you gotta reposition to cast your spells again. And now you're the one kind of out of position, but that's okay. What could you be popping this whole time? This whole time. Uh, my pot. Exactly. Always want to be efficient with that. That's all. Nice three. That three is a little bit better if you throw it somewhere in the direction of them. This has to yes. do with your sensitivity, right? Because you want to toss something at them. Maybe if you hit the root on Athena, because you're at taunt and you're dead. So you need to root some the Athena and then hopefully get movement speed on the back end there. There you chose only movement speed, which is going to result into a taunt. Right. Yeah, and, uh, Yo, Panda, thanks for the nine months, man. Appreciate it, bro. What's up, Renzi? Bro, Daily, why are you trying to steal my 220 viewers, bro? That's crazy. Uh, okay. All right. All right. What's what's right after this? I'm about to about to cop my next two sessions <laughs> just so I can buy them. But I'm a, I'm gonna get right on it. Get right on it. No worries. So think about. Think about um. Think about how how delayed your spikes are right now. Yeah. You still don't have starter. You still don't, you're still missing twenty percent pen, and you're still missing reaver. Right. And it just kind of depends whether I want to do relic or or the other one. It depends on the game, right? On the flow of the game. Exactly. Okay. But I think pendulum is better here. You want damage. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what I'm. Uh... I'm I'm a I'm a hard do uh pin jump. At least for a little bit right now. So here you have no relics and you're running at a Cthu at a Cacolin with no pen. And, uh, because like now he's on top of you and now you can't cast like these guys you do no did you see how much damage that did to her? That was a two. So right now, this is how you adjust, right? You made some bad, you made you made some uh, kind of off decisions in terms of farming rotations in the mid game. Um, now, how do you how do you counter this? So that means, okay, these guys you can't hit them, so don't hit them. You need to find the backline, meaning you need to adapt your playstyle to be like, okay, I can't be a backline mage anymore because of my bad because I had some bad rotations early, which is gonna happen in your rank games. And I need to adjust and find Poss, Medusa, Bastet. If I can't find them, I can't fight. That's your win condition now. Okay. How do you how do you safely find them? That's 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 the hard part. You have to let your yeah. your your tanks, you let your tanks. Uh, you can't let their tank find you first, and then you gotta let your tanks find them. Okay. So this guy is a good kill, right? So like, think about this now. If you weren't here. There's two tanks showing here. You go here. There's one carry here. 
your right play is to be here. Right. And they run away, that's fine. Next FG spawning. You really need the starter. You're still short. Even if you sell your health point, you have to wait for a bit. <laughs> oh, man, I'm bullshit. Do I order food? Sure. No damage. No value. No nothing. Mm -hmm. You're just too behind in your build right now. Literally the right the right thing to do here is to hit back camps. Yeah. I know and hit pull speed. That was the panic beats. Yeah. And that's GG. Yep. <laughs> you missed your timings too hard. Yeah. But you saw the you saw the window to, for you to carry this game, right? Yeah. Like yes, I did. here? Yeah. yeah. That that when yeah that left side where they were the tight move that was the time that that was huge if like, you have ob shard and starter yeah. here you wipe them here yeah 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 that would have turned it around so now you know your mistake was yeah. buying divine when not necessary not playing towards your starter okay and then in the early mid game uh early mid game just giving way too much respect in terms of not trying to yes. trying to farm those are the biggest things to pick up off this game about to smack some cats. Let me just get in here. After I make these chicken enchiladas, that's where we going. <laughs> Definitely gotta be field for it first. <laughs> yeah, gotta be in the gonna be in the field. We gonna handle business. All right, appreciate you, man. You already time. know, brother. Have a good weekend, yeah. my man. Stay yeah, safe. You too. Take care. Yes. Yeah,